This 2007 Prevo Liberty Coach just came into the Motor Coach store here in Bradenton, Florida. It has not been seen anywhere, but I wanted to give you all a quick sneak preview. This coach is priced to sell at $555,555. And when we went through the interior of this 07 Liberty Coach, it's just amazing at how well all of this holds up. So I'm really excited to take a look at this time capsule 07 Liberty Coach. And I love the entryway of these Liberty coaches. You can immediately start to tell all of the detail work. Now there is a couple spots with some wear and tear, some minor stuff. Overall, it's in great condition, but check out these captain's chairs here. We've got the two-toned leather with the brown and tan, a wood grain steering wheel. This does have the Detroit Diesel Series 60, and it is a pre-emissions coach, so it doesn't have the DEF. And those of you that follow the channel know, I. I am a huge fan of Liberty Coach. They are, to my knowledge, the most expensive motor coach on the market. The new ones are pushing on $3 million and they only build about 12 to 14 a year. They're, they're extremely custom. And now this coach doesn't have any warranties on it. It's being sold as is, but Liberty Coach is the only company that I know of that offers a lifetime workmanship warranty to the original owner that warranties squeaks and rattles for the life of that coach, which is just a testament to the build quality of Liberty Coach. And when we look around, you know, just the wood grain here, the wood floors, even the type of leather material that this is, everything is so high end, so classy, and it's really held together well. Now I'm excited to show you all through the interior of this coach, but I wanna talk about the exterior of this coach. And this being a Liberty Coach, it does qualify to have the world famous artist Dean Lauk do a repaint on it. Dean Laux has a deal with Liberty Coach where he only paints Class A's for Liberty Coach. And the paint jobs that Liberty Coach do are just on another level. It's truly artwork. And that's why when you see one of the Dean Laux Liberties, they're just on another level. And even their competitors in the industry will admit that Dean Laux and his team at the Art of Design in Elkhart, Indiana have pushed the motor coach industry and are in a league of their own. So if it were me buying this coach for $555,000, I would take it to Dean Laux in Elkhart, Indiana, and I think it's like 100 or 150 to have it repainted and have a whole new design, make it look like a new Liberty coach. I think that would be really cool uh, if someone wanted to invest in that. We just did a video uh, where Dean Laux repainted his 2002 Liberty coach. He put like a $350,000 turtle mural paint job on it, just on another level. So anytime I see a Liberty coach of this condition and this vintage that's a candidate for that upgraded Dean Laux paint job, I always like to recommend that. But I love this uh, style right here. And this floor plan reminded me of Dean Laux 2008 Prevo Liberty coach. It's the Liberty coach that he owned the first time I interviewed him on the channel. And it had a similar workstation area here where he had a big monitor set up. Now this is extremely slick the way this works. This will actually slide out. And I mean, if you can feel, it is like a Rolls Royce. Everything is so just sturdy and smooth. Got a nice little uh, keyboard tray there if you wanna have your laptop come a little closer to you and still be very comfortable. Every little detail, like the condition of these wall panels, we've got the lighting around the windows, uh, different types of leather wrap panels. Every square inch that you look at is all finished out. And when you look at other coaches of this vintage, they just don't hold together this well. I mean, just so many little details and so high end. Now, I really like this uh, floor plan with the J-shaped dinette with the button tough backing here and a chocolate color leather. And then we do have a button here where we can adjust this table. It is on a motor there so you can move that in and out. And then next to your dinette, we have another recliner up here, extremely comfortable. And I like that you've got the same matching recliners 
that are in different areas. So this is more used as a socialization area and that's gonna be more for work. Got your dining over here, just a great setup. And beautiful decor pieces that are in this coach as well that just really tie in those colors of the countertops and floors and cabinets. And coming into the galley here, you can see the two-tone cabinets with a lighter and darker wood. I love this little cabinet that Liberty does, a little spot to store your paper towel there. And then you can feed that through this little hole there. You can see a beautiful tile backsplash, the Gaginaw cooktop. And the first time I looked at this countertop, I didn't even notice there was a punch out for that countertop cover because the way they cut these, it's just such precision. We've talked about it with Frank Connig Setter from Liberty Coach. I mean, they just go over the top to get the tiniest little details dialed in as much as possible. We do have some nice cabinet space here. Now this coach uh, has not been detailed yet. We just want to get you guys a sneak preview. It's a little uh, wine glass cabinet. This is kind of cool with that brushed aluminum look. And then uh, a little spot to maybe put a coffee maker with an outlet there. And then we've got your sharp microwave oven here. And I like the positioning of this so that you're not having to reach up too high. And then you do have some deep drawer space below that. And then coming back here to the middle of the coach, I just want to point out these wall panels here wrapped in leather, extremely high end. And then you've got a good amount of storage, more storage overhead here, very deep. You'll notice that indirect lighting glowing off of the wood floors. And these are a matte wood finish, but really nice mood lighting if you wanted to turn off the lights in the evening and just leave those floor lights on. So here we have a lot of your uh, Liberty Coach controls here. You can monitor your voltage. You've got your breakers, tank level sensors, and then a large residential GE refrigerator with a water and ice dispenser. And then across from that is a stackable Bosch washer and dryer. And it's amazing how Liberty Coach hides that stuff with those, that same leather wrap wall panels that just give it such a high-end feel. Now coming back into the rear of the coach, it is a middle bathroom with a very large shower. And then we've got a separate room here for our water closet. It does have the Jack and Jill doors here. So if you want to close this door here and leave the toilet as kind of a neutral area, you can really easily do that if you do have guesting in here. Cool style bowl sink there, the glass bowl with that same backsplash and just all of the detail when you look at the curves, the rounded edges. And check this out guys, we don't see this in the, the later model Liberty coaches, but maybe if you're on the toilet and you need to call your driver, make a phone call, set up for that. Got some nice cabinets down there and you need everybody needs a spot for TP hidden in that little cabinet there. And in the bathroom here, if you look at the intricate detail in these wood floors, extremely high-end detail work here. Kind of a little piece of art within the floor there. And then we've got a large closet, the same leather wrap panels there, very well lit. And all the little details, like a little laundry hamper here. And I like to point stuff out that Liberty Coach does like this. You'll see this metal brace here on the inside of this door. The reason for that is so that this door won't flex and warp over time. They're thinking ahead of all those little details and that's why this coach has held together so well. All right, and I'll give you guys the shower test. We do have a nice little bench seat here. We've got plenty of hot water and we've talked about the water heating system in Liberty Coaches. They still use the same system to this day. They don't have a hydronic heating unit, which all of the other luxury motorhomes that I'm aware of are using hydronic heating units that require maintenance annually, which is, I think is about 500 bucks a year just in maintenance on the hydronic heating system where the heating system on this does not require that same level of maintenance and Liberty Coach has been using that system for decades. And we've got a good amount of storage cabinets, a little towel cabinet next to your shower and this door can close off but here we've got a huge rear suite. You've got a ceiling fan, beautiful woodwork on the ceiling, all this woodwork. You have a second glass bowl sink in your rear suite and then you'll notice the leather inlay on the face of these doors. This is all extremely high end. A Samsung TV, a nice area to put some art decor, and then mirrors across the back of the coach. But we're going to also have a lot of closet space back here. You can see it's very well lit, lined with carpet, extremely high end. I, I believe this might be a full king size bed, definitely bigger than a queen, possibly an RV king. Beautiful indirect lighting. And some of these light bulbs do need to re be replaced. They are going to PDI this coach. It has not been PDI'd yet. 
it. These nice leather pillows that match the sofa out there. This is all such high-end stuff in this coach. The blinds are all in excellent condition. You have more drawer space back here. So this coach just landed here a day or two ago at the motor coach store. And this coach only has 65,000 miles on it, but is available for $555,555. If this coach doesn't sell in the near future, I wanna to try to get a test drive video in this coach going through the bays after it gets detailed. We're gonna go more in depth, but wanted to give you all a sneak preview. So if you are a serious and qualified buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day.